Well, hello and welcome to Let's Get Acquainted with Hillary Gooden. I'm so thankful to be here, especially on this particular day. Uh, this is Thanksgiving. And so I have a special guest that's coming with me today. This is like my international show. I have with me a guest from Norway. So before we get into our topic tonight of gratitude and discussing what is gratitude, what are some of the ways that we can practice at gratitude, we're going to go to a quick commercial. This will give you time to share this broadcast out, tag a friend, tag some family or something so that maybe this may spark some discussion where you are. So let me play this commercial right quick. Hope you're having a wonderful time today. And maybe if you're not having such a wonderful time, I'm hoping that this could be inspiring and uplifting to you. So let me do get this out of the way first, and then I'll see you on the other side. Hi, busy women leaders. I'm talking to you. Are you juggling your family, your business, your career, and your health? Afraid that if just one ball drops to the ground, everything could fall apart because everybody's looking at you, you're stressed and overwhelmed. You're looking for answers, for help that's real help, for solutions. I have Vibrant Life Solutions that can help you. I am Hillary Gooden, the Vibrant Life Coach, author, speaker, lymphologist, and pastor. I empower busy women leaders with strategies to reduce stress and anxiety while increasing energy, clarity of mind, better sleep, better health, and vitality. Oh yeah, and boost your immunity. If you are ready for that, you say, you know, I need that in my life right now. Let's connect. You can reach me at www.hillarygoodin.com. You can direct message me on Facebook or LinkedIn at Hillary Gooden. Or else if you would like to get on a free 20-minute strategy call, a clarity call, go to bit.ly forward slash Hillary Gooden. That's bit.ly forward slash Hillary Gooden. I absolutely believe you got the power to help your body, help you live a more vibrant life. All right, well, welcome back. And we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and bring out my guest, Miss Emily Christensen. And again, she's coming in from Norway. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. What about you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And I'm glad to have you on finally. We met uh, about a year, maybe almost two years ago, it seemed like. That's right. That's yes. right. So we're both in the uh, health and wellness space, coming from different directions, but wanting to see people uh, be better, <laughs> to have better health, and I always say in a more vibrant life. So um, we're going to be talking about gratitude today, and this happens to be Thanksgiving. Do you all celebrate Thanksgiving? And um, probably not in Norway. No, we don't celebrate it. Mm. Okay, so we do. We, this is this is the holiday here uh, the, of Thanksgiving, where family and friends get together, and you know, hopefully, to be thankful and grateful for what they do have and that sort of thing. And then there are those who maybe don't have family, you know. So I'm hoping that what we will talk about today will be uplifting and inspiring and be a blessing to all those that hear it. Yeah. Yes, that will be great. It's very okay. important to feel safe and loved. Yes, absolutely. And so first I wanted to uh, go over what is gratitude. When you think of gratitude, what comes to mind? When I think of gratitude, what comes to my mind is being thankful. Being thankful for what we have, being thankful for who we are, 
and being thankful for those who stand by us. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And so I like that, those that stand by you, because they're not sometimes not necessarily family. No, right? unfortunately, <laughs> a lot yeah. of people um, do not get the support from their family. Yeah. But so, uh, just mm -hmm. but it, it's very okay. important to 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 acknowledge and to actually accept that fact that it's yes. very important that uh, you get a support and that it's not always going to come from the family. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And so um, gratitude, just by the way of the dictionary, it says the quality of being thankful, the readiness to show uh, appreciation for and to return kindness. And so in this world, we need to show <laughs> kindness, you know, to give kindness as well as be appreciative of the kindness that we receive from others. Uh, it's so simple, and yet it doesn't seem to be as um, easy for everybody as it, as it should be. I totally agree with you. It's not mm -hmm. easy. I, in fact, I believe that a lot of people forget uh, gratefulness. So you, you talk about something very important here, and I would like to use an example uh, mm -hmm. with regards to, uh, you know, show love to, to somebody else or acknowledge somebody else. Uh, it's happened about a, a year and a half ago. Uh, my husband came back and he was uh, from, from outside and he was uh, a bit in shock. Mm -hmm. So I was asking him, what happened today? And then he said, you know, I did something good. It wasn't intentional. I did it naturally. But the, when I realized the impact that it got on that person, it's really moved me. And then I was curious. I was like, what happened to you? What happened? He was walking in the street. And then he walked past a lady that looked totally destroyed, so sad, and so lost. And he felt that sadness so strongly that he just kept staring at her. And eventually she realized that somebody is staring at me, why? And she turns her head to him and all he did was to smile, to, to smile at her. He lifted her day. Mm -hmm. He said that the transformation that he saw on that moment, the woman turning wondering if he was smiling at somebody behind him. And when mm -hmm. she realized that the smile was for her, it really brightened her day. Yes. Yes. So, it can be something so simple. Exactly. And sometimes it doesn't need words. Just a smile might yes. have made a big difference in that woman's day. Yes, exactly. So if those of you that are listening, has this ever happened to you or have, have you been the recipient of this type of kindness or have you given this type of kindness and, and seen an impact such as this? If so, put a one in the comments and let us know where you're coming in from as well. Again, I'm coming in from the Chicagoland area here in the United States, but I have with me Miss uh, Emily that's coming in from Norway. Uh, you, as you were talking, it made me think about a story, well, something that happened to me, and I was um, passing by a gentleman, and all I said was, hey, how you doing? And he stopped, and he had this strange look on his face, and I was like, are you, are you okay? What's, you know, what's that? He said, you know what? Nobody ever asked me how I'm doing. He said, I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank wow. you. And I was just like, well, you're welcome. It was just, it didn't seem like a big thing, but yet it was impactful to him. And to so, him. you know, to show kindness is, is simple. And you never know what it will do to the recipient, you know. So um, show kindness, people, and receive kindness. You know, when you're, this is talking about what is gratitude, being thankful and ready to uh, show appreciation 
when it's been given to you as well. And so oh, yes. oh, that was good. Yeah. That was good. And <laughs> and when it when it comes to receiving, uh yeah, I'm I'm so grateful these days. You know, I was operated uh, over a month ago. And oh, okay. uh, even if it seems that it was a minor operation, it, it was it's complicated. And yes. uh, I'm not healing properly. And it's my right hand. Okay. So I've oh, been going yeah. through a lot of emotions, a lot of, uh, I would say, a bit of distress. Because, you know, mm -hmm. when you're right-handed and you can't use your hand, Yes. Wow. So you know what's happening to me? Friends are suddenly knocking on the door with food uh, because they realize that I love cooking, but I also love eating and they just want to support <laughs> me. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, you know, it's so I'm so grateful for this. Uh, yeah. only, only today, a friend called me and she said, I know you're at work, but when you come back from work, there will be a package in front of your door. I made you your favorite pumpkin soup. I almost burst oh. into tears. I was like, oh my gosh. And another one called and said, uh, don't, don't stress tonight that with the linen or anything, your husband is not around. I'm gonna come to help you tomorrow so you can relax tonight. So oh, wow. I'm so Beautiful. very grateful for that, you know? Yes. yes. And, uh, and, and you know, I, I, I sometimes we think, oh, do I deserve it? Uh, is it deserved? I'm going to tell you something. Yes, it is deserved. Because anyone yeah. in this world deserves to be taken care of. Yes, yes, absolutely. That brings me to my next definition given by a theologian uh, named Lacewing. He's uh, from 2016. And he said, the question is, what is gratitude? An emotion that we feel in response to receiving something which is undeserved. You know, you didn't do anything to deserve it. But yet, like you just said, everybody is deserving of kindness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone is. Yes. Some form of kindness. I love that. And, you know, and, and it, it does make you be thankful because... Oh, yeah. It also, this is something that used to get me when I first got married. Uh, I'm not married now, but when I got married, my husband, sometimes he would say, you know, oh, I love you. And I would say, oh, I love you too. But he would get kind of an attitude about it. And I did not, did not understand. He was from South Africa. And so one day I had to just ask him, what is the problem? I don't understand. He said, every time I say, I love you, you never say thank you. I said, what? <laughs> I was like, that's not the natural response here in America. You know, somebody says they love you. Your husband says he love you. It's your response is to say, well, I love you too. He said, but you never say thank you. He said, I don't have to tell you that. I was like, Oh, okay. Uh, that's <laughs> that's okay. In, that's unusual. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for loving me, and I do that now. You know, people say you they love me, and I uh, yeah, that almost comes natural. I say, oh well, thank you for loving me, because <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> so that oh, was wow. just out there, folks. That's something you can use, and maybe it might throw some people off today. If they, <laughs> when they say I love you, just tell them thank you for loving me. That might bring yes. up a conversation that'll be helpful for everybody around the table today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you gave me something to think of because it's true that we don't we don't think about thanking somebody for loving us. Yes. We are grateful for that love and we yes. answer back by saying, love you too. That's yeah. the, the, the natural response. Yeah. But it's actually interesting that um your husband by then um thought that he wanted to thank you so yeah I, there's always room for like, learning wow. exactly exactly i love it <laughs> <laughs> and so there are uh three things that i wanted to talk about gratitude to discuss 
One is that we need to notice the good things that happen in our lives. It's so easy to focus on the bad, the negative. But we need to take notice, be aware of what's all of the things that are happening. Because I believe that no full day, even if it's a bad, you say I had a bad day, I'm absolutely sure that if you look deep enough, hard enough, search throughout that day, something good happened. And maybe something good happened that you missed because you were so focused on the bad. What do you think about that, noticing the good things? Uh, I totally agree with you uh, about noticing good things. And uh, I also believe that uh, when something bad happens, rather than focusing on it, it's nice to turn it into, to think about a, a positive outcome. This has happened, I can't change it, fine. Mm -hmm. But how can I do it better? How can I change it? How can it, can I if, find a solution for it? Where is the solution for it? And yeah. often uh, people procrastinate or, oh, that's because it's me. Oh, that happens to me again. Oh, that, but then sometimes, you, it might be worth it questioning yourself. Why is it happening again? Why is that pattern repeating itself? And what can you do to make it not to repeat itself? Or how will you deal with it next time it happens to yeah. you again? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm that's, always of that belief yeah. of turning negative things into positive it's okay mm -hmm. to feel the negativity. It's okay, it's okay to cry. It's okay to yeah. be angry. That's we need right. those emotions. They need to come mm -hmm. out of us. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the way you carry on is very important. Right. You know, it makes you think about when you're going through something. That's just the point. You go through a thing. It begins and it ends, you know, yes. and, and then you go on to, to something else. And sometimes we can linger too long, too long, you know, nursing and rehearsing an offense when you can just forgive and move on. And move you on. Know? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. then the next uh, point that I have here, well, I want to say to those that are watching, uh, your, you know, in the comments, you can just put, if we say something that you have a comment about, Put it in the comments below so that we can respond to it. Um, so that we can respond to it. Thank you. The next point is savor feelings of gratitude. Uh, it reminds me like of your husband when he got home, he was still savoring the feeling of the gratitude that that woman felt and, the, and it made him feel grateful that he did it. <laughs> you know, a simple thing like that smile. He was still savoring the feeling when he got home. Yes. So it's important to savor those feelings of gratitude, whether you're the recipient or the receiver. Because, you know, when you do kind things, and I know you know this, when you do kind things for people, your brain uh, releases dopamine, make you feel good. So that maybe you'll do it again. <laughs> you want to keep that <laughs> feeling going. Exactly. What, what's your thoughts? Yeah. Well, I totally agree with you, and uh, it's in interesting that you you thought you mentioned the brain, because our thinking mindset, our thinking about uh, how our mind, um, our mental health is important, yes. and your ment being grateful, savoring something positive is so powerful when it comes to our mental health because it allows us to focus on something on on positiveness yes and it allows us to also evolve to a better us yes, i'm always absolutely. of the belief that everything we do for better can only help us become a better person and there's always room for that yeah we only have to take time for it absolutely. Yes. Wow. I, I just love this conversation about gratitude. I hope that is blessing someone that's listening. You know, if it is, put a two in the comment, let us know, or put some emojis, some hearts or something there. 
you know, um, it's about expressing gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Oh, wow. What's well, one thing that you're grateful for? Well, if I have to name the one thing today, I'm grateful for that pumpkin soup that I'm going to eat in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so one thing that I'm grateful for today uh, is, you know, it, it's just uh, myself and my mom, just the love that's there between us. I, I thank God for that. Because sometimes uh, those that you're the closest to, uh, it's important to feel that that connectedness, you know. And I've just recently been in, in some situations or seen some other situations where that's not so. And so, you know, and sometimes we can take it for granted when you're in the midst of things, you know. So I, yeah. I'm thankful for that today. Absolutely. Yes. But yes. we need to express our gratitude, whether we're expressing it our, to ourselves in a mirror. You know, I love you. I'm, you know, I got your back. You, we have to mm -hmm. do this because sometimes maybe you're not getting it from somebody else. Exactly. You know, and don't be ashamed to look in the mirror and tell that person you see, I love you. You are yes. amazing. <laughs> I do it sometimes. <laughs> yes. That's that's that very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. be, and because it's uh it's Thanksgiving today, you really, really have to be thankful to have beside you somebody who can advise you, somebody who can guide you. Sometimes words that you receive, you don't always understand them. Advice mm -hmm. that you receive, you're not always ready to apply them. Yeah. But when you open your heart to it, you realize that the person giving you that advice is not doing it to hurt you, but the yeah. person is giving you an advice to help you and to support you in any journey that you're meant to take. Yeah. So always be open uh, to listening to what somebody else has to tell you, because yeah. We have many wise people when, uh, close to, like you mentioned, your mother. My mm -hmm. mom is not here anymore. But when I remember things she tells me, she told, yeah. she used to tell me. Yeah. And she would sometimes I look at her, Ma, what do you mean? And she would tell me, you yeah. will understand it when the time yeah. comes. Yeah. You will remember it when the time comes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And, you know, I want to just just lift up uh, at this time is so many, you know, since we're kind of talking about family and it's that time here. Um, so many people since the last Thanksgiving have lost loved ones who are not there, you know, that are not. This is the first Thanksgiving without them. You know, to you, I just want to lift up. Uh, prayer that God comforts you and give you the peace and that you would enjoy those that that are still here, that you would bind together even the more and to celebrate that person's life, you know, the memory of them. And um and I just just pray that any that we've said something that would just uplift you today as well. Yes. Yeah, so there's, there's, I, it's just so many that's very important. And I totally agree with you. And uh, as you said, celebrate the people who are not here with you today, because remember, they might not be, you might not see them anymore, but they, they live forever in your heart. Mm -hmm. And those memories that you have of them, cherish them. And yes. also remember, if I'm sad today, if I don't want to celebrate today, and if the person that is gone could see me, how would that make them feel? That will mm -hmm. make them feel sad. Because, yes, they have moved on just to another dimension. But you are here and they want you to live yes. and to be happy and to keep them alive in your heart, yes. in your mind, Absolutely. in your memory. I love that. I love that. Whew. So now we want to move on to three well, I actually have five, um, but let's just do maybe three. Three ways to practice 
gratitude. <laughs> and the first thing I have here is to each each day to think of three things that you're grateful for. The second thing is to uh, start a gratitude journal. And you might write those three things in that gratitude journal <laughs> on a daily basis. And then, um, let's see, of the five, let me pick one more that's good. And I thought about, this is something I hadn't thought about, but to thank someone new every week. You know, and to be intentional about that. Yeah. Have you ever kept a gratitude journal or a journal where you would write down things daily? Yes, I have a journal and uh, it's a habit that I got from mom. Uh, mom just used to write. And uh, I, I realized that uh, whatever she was writing was so great. And whenever um, her last line would always be gratitude. Whatever, whatever mm. she wrote, it will always end with gratitude and uh, thanking God. It will yeah. always be there. There will always be a prayer. And uh, so I kept that habit of writing. I don't do it every day. However, mm. I do it every week. Yeah. I remember to be grateful. And not only for what happens to me, but also grateful for what, what happens to my to my children, to my husband, yes. to my loved ones, to my friends, to people at work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, there's always something that happens to somebody you know or you care for in the week. So yeah. it's nice mm -hmm. to, to send them some prayers. It's nice to, uh, to be grateful for something that they might have done for you or for somebody else. Yes. And it's nice to be grateful to be here and to be uh, able to show that uh, gratitude. Yeah. And, mm. you know, one, one thing that's also good about keeping a journal, if you keep a gratitude journal or some type of journal that you can write your thoughts in and of the day, of the week, put a three in the comments. You know, that journaling is something I don't do as often as I used to do it as well. I used to journal every single day until it seemed like I was writing a book it would be so much going on i would write in too much detail you know i said i gotta learn how to just jot things down but uh <laughs> but i would be getting those feelings out <laughs> you know and um uh, it's good to have them for those days that are not so good when you can go back and read through what god has brought you through where things were bad but then it, they weren't so bad, you know what I mean? Some good things happened to you. And you you know what I mean? It's good to be able to have that to go back to to help uplift yourself. <laughs> yes. And you actually said something fantastic here, which is it's nice to remember when something was bad and then what happened. Because mm -hmm. then you when you read that and you're in a in a situation that is complicated, and at the moment you're reading. You just remember, oh my God, at the time I wrote that book or I wrote that that gratitude or I wrote those lines, I didn't know or realize that there would be a solution. Look where I am today. Well, I have well. moved on. I mm -hmm. have moved on. So that means the challenges that I'm facing today, I can move on with and, and uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, face those challenges and uh, find solutions because yeah. that's very important life itself is challenging and those challenges sometimes we can't avoid them that's but right. the, that's the way true. you deal with them is very important yeah you know obstacles and challenges come to make us stronger to make stronger. us better you know to give yeah. us character <laughs> you know you gain wisdom you know, it, it's, it can be a good thing. It don't seem like it always when you're going through it. No. You know, but but the thing is, it's something that you're meant to go through to come out on the other side. Yes. I think when you I keep totally that in mind. And then when, yeah. And if you have, if, you know, if you have out in your life, you know, you say, well, you know what? God can handle this. It's not too big for him because there's nothing too difficult for God. Right. So we have to hold on to what the word of God says. Uh, 
I wanted to have a scripture, but I wanted to talk about that third one was to thank someone every week. Pick up the phone, not just a text. You know, you can text somebody, but maybe pick up the phone and call someone or use Facebook um, Messenger where you can call somebody, <laughs> you know, versus the little message that that's typed out. Just say, hey, I was thinking about you. You know, how, how are you doing? Or, or just to say, you know, I'm thankful for for your inspirational post that you post all the time. You know what I mean? Or just call mm -hmm. that friend that you haven't talked to in a while. And when you're really, you know, good friends with people, you don't have to talk every day, mm -hmm. you know? But it's, it's good. I think this is a good thing to practice. To practice. I definitely agree mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so the scripture that I have is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And it says, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. To give thanks in all all circumstances, the good and the bad, the negative and the positive, knowing that he can work things together for your good, you know, and you want and, and to his glory. And so if he brought you out of one thing, he'll bring you out of the next thing. That's what we Amen. have to keep in mind. Yeah. And so if you're going through right now and you're finding it difficult right now, just know that God is able to bring you through to the other side. Amen. Right, comment on that. Amen. So, it's so I'm powerful. grateful for this conversation that we got a chance to come on and and share just from our perspective about this topic. And I pray that it's been a blessing to those that are listening. Now we're going to kind of switch gears and I'm going to give you the floor to just have a moment to tell us about you. And uh, this is Let's Get Acquainted. So get, tell us a little bit about yourself and then what it is that you do in the, in the world to help other people. All right. So a little bit about myself. I'm a, I'm a mother of uh, two boys that are grown up now and uh, live on their, own, on their own. And I'm so grateful that they step on their own feet and that they are healthy. So when it comes on the topic of health, I'm a science teacher and uh, I'm an author, my book is on Amazon, where I help people find a better uh, version of themselves. That's what my book is about. It's called A Thought A Day. Now, I'm an advocate of aging gracefully. Don't misunderstand me. Aging gracefully is not about exterior beauty, but it's about your internal beauty. How do you want to age? in a positive note or in a negative note? What sort of mindset do you want to age with? A good mindset or negativity? So for me, aging gracefully is embracing different aspects of your life and different aspects of inside of you, outside of yourself, so that you can live a vibrant life as years go by. I educate women on self-care and I help them choose the right tools uh, to help them optimize their health and their mindset. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook. You can see my name there, Emily Christensen. And I'm always open to set up a one-to-one -one in order to discuss your self-care needs. Can I always help you? Maybe not, but I have a lot of connections and I can always direct you to somebody who can provide you with the self-care that you need if I cannot provide you with it. So that's about me. I know that most of the people following the program speak English, but I just wanted to let you know that I also speak Spanish, I also speak French and Norwegian. So I'm definitely reachable and always ready to help. Thank you. Excuse me. Hilary, yes. What was that last um, language that you said you, you speak and where are you from originally? All right. So I'm originally from Cameroon in Africa, but uh, I grew up in France 
And the French, uh, Cameroon being a, a former colony, uh, French is my first language, but my mother tongue is some is a, a, a language called Douala. However, living in Norway, we speak Norwegian. So that was the last language that I mentioned. I, th I thought Norwegian spoke English. No, oh, they do, because uh, when we watch TV, uh, it's not, um, how do you call it? We, we watch TV on the original language. So every program, English program on TV are in English with Norwegian subtitles. So, but oh. uh, their first language is Norwegian. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes. I, was just, I was just thinking that you could say um, something like, um, Maybe you could say, be grateful today in each of those languages. Oh, wow. Okay. How do we say it? Uh -huh. Okay. In Norwegian, var taknemli for alt uh, som kommer i dit liv. That was Norwegian. Um, en español, e expresa gratitud en todo lo que te puede ocurrir en la vida. In French, eh, wow, French is actually my first language. And see, I have to <laughs> to think in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's the one that I practice less these days because I'm yeah, yeah. On, <laughs> on English. Yeah. Soyez, et remerciez pour tout ce qui peut vous arriver, et soyez heureux. Yeah. So I didn't say it exactly how it's supposed to be because the words just left my head. So if a French person is listening to me, <laughs> we recognize that. <laughs> so let's be honest. And then, <laughs> and then in English, well, um, be grateful for whatever comes your way and whatever you are giving to somebody else. What did you do with in Cameroonian? Uh, in Douala? I wouldn't yeah, know how yeah. to, to say it because when I left Cameroon, I was only 10 years old. And okay. so my uh, what I speak is what a 10 years old girl will speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, these kind of words I haven't learned. But okay. we can actually say something similar. Be to happy. Her. Be happy today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 A masoma. Yes. There you have it, folks. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Oh my God, this has been a good show, and I've learned something new about you. And I tell us about your book one more time, and how people can uh, get a copy of it. Yes. I was so I write in the comments, but I can't. Yes. Yeah. So my book is on Amazon. I self-publish it. And uh, it's a blue, beautiful, uh, peaceful, light blue cover. And it is called A Thought A Day by Emily Christensen, A Thought A Day. And it's oh, a book wow. about gratitude. It's a book about finding a better version of yourself, or at least the first steps to finding the better version of yourself. So I recommend it as a, as a great gift to somebody else or as a gift to yourself to start that journey. That is not yeah. easy to start. Yes. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Um, before we end this, I want to just say thank you. And, um, you know, it's been a blessing to have you on. Great conversation, great discussion, great insight. And, um, you know, and sharing, just sharing with us about who you are and all of that was that's always the best part you know getting to know one another i think um so i just want to let people know that i am your vibe and life promoter and your certified lymphology expert i help you to help your body help you have better health and a more vibrant life by activating the lymphatic system and stressing less and so if you're looking for some solutions that you so that you can have better health and a more vibrant life so that you can show up more fully in your with your family your friends and your business that work what just in your life 
then you can uh, get a free strategy call with me. I love to share with, with you my programs that I have that will help you to activate your lymphatic system and experience that better health and vibrant life. And so you can get a free 20 minute clarity call at bit.ly forward slash speak with Hillary. It should be scrolling across the bottom of the screen, but I will put it in the comments just to make sure that you get that. There is help that is real help. And just like my sister said, Miss Emily, if it's something when we talk that I can't do, maybe I can refer you to, to her or to someone else that can help you. Know that it's no shame in reaching out for help. It, when it's time for change, be ready for it. Let no opportunity go wasted to get the help that you need. And so happy Thanksgiving for all of you that have watched. Be thankful, be grateful, be kind to yourself and to others. You never know, like we discussed today, what just a simple smile can do to change someone's day from, from, from sad to being a little brighter. So that's what I want to leave with you. And again, Miss Emily, do you have any last words that you would like to say before we close out? I would like to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone from Norway. And I would like to thank you for having allowed me to join you on this talk that I enjoy very much. Thank That's you so much. My so last it, words. Yes, thank you so much, Emily. And so thank, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And um, again, practice, 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 practice being thankful and kind throughout the entire year. That's what the whole world needs. Good night. Yes. Good night.